Hello, I'm Penny Wells. On behalf of Ethanol Technology of Minnesota, I thank you for your interest in our product. I'm here today to introduce our CEO, founder, and the inventor of the ETOM unit, my husband, Bart Wells. Thanks, Penny. We'll be seeing more of Penny a little later She does the installation of the ETOM unit. Let's take a look at what E85 is. E85, simply put, is 85% ethanol and 15% gasoline. It was introduced in quantity in 2003 in Minnesota, and having a race program, we immediately started to use it in some of our race cars. I found out a few things that are interesting about E85. First thing is, the octane rating is very high, about 105. This helped with some of our high compression engines to keep them from pinging or detonating. Second thing is, we found out that the incoming air temperatures and coolant temperatures were cooler on ethanol. Third thing is, after hundreds and hundreds of race miles and thousands of miles in some commuter cars, we found that when we took the engines apart, there was no abnormal wear or issues at all with using of E85. For us, E85 was not only economical, but also readily available. At a time when our race fuel was $6 or more per gallon, E85 was available and plentiful at $2 per gallon. And we came up with an idea. Let's put the stuff in some of our commuter cars, vans, and tow vehicles and see if we could make it work there also. The results were amazing. We found that by adjusting the air-fuel ratio, we could get within 5% of the fuel economy on E85 as we could on gasoline, a savings of somewhere between 25 and 30% on fuel. The problem was we could only do one vehicle at a time. It took a long time, and once committed to E85, the vehicles couldn't easily be changed back. So, that's how we came up with the ETOM system. The ETOM system solves those issues. The ETOM unit is unique in four ways. First of all, a simple plug and play design allows anybody to put it into their vehicle. Two, it's got a simple on off switch. If you go someplace that doesn't have ethanol, you turn it off. Your vehicle reverts to your original gasoline programming. Three, the ETOM unit works with your existing PCM. All your diagnostics work. Four, the ETOM unit calibrates your gasoline engine to run economically on E85, saving you big money at the pump. Sounds good, but tell me, how does it work? Well, let's take a look. The ETOM unit works on two different levels. The first is what's called open loop, which is during cold start and wide open throttle operation. The ETOM unit changes the injector size to allow you to get maximum acceleration and to start during the coldest days. The other side is when you're in closed loop, which is during cruise. Our patented lean cruise technology allows you to economically earn E85 and attain the same type of fuel economy that you do on gasoline. We're back in the installation area, and as promised, Penny's going to do the installation. First, she's going to show you what comes in the ETOM kit. These are the components that you'll find when you open your ETOM kit. It's comprised of our E85 conversion box, zip ties, double-sided foam tape. You'll also need some hand tools illustrated here, but that are not included in the kit to do your conversion. There's eight easy steps. Penny, you ready to go? I'm ready. All right, step one, lay out the ETOM unit with its cables in the basic direction of where the plug end ends go. Find a spot that the ETOM box can be mounted or tied in place with the provided mounting screws or cable ties. Okay, I've got my box right here. Looks like a good spot. My grounding wire. And my on-off switch I'm just going to set aside for now. Here we go. What's step two, Bart? Okay, step two. Unplug the fuel injector ends and put the ETOM fuel injector ends marked INJ in between. The injectors have a simple locking clip, and when you plug the ETOM unit in, you will hear an audible click, and they are properly seated. Okay, for this step, I'm going to use a screwdriver to assist me. Okay, I've got that device out. There's one click in place. Two 
two clicks. Three clicks. Wow, I'm cruising. And the last one. There we go. Great, great. Step three unplug the upstream oxygen sensor plug and plug in the ETOM unit oxygen sensor wire labeled OXY. Down here, Put those yep. apart. Okay. Okay, step four attach the ETOM wire marked ground to the negative battery terminal or any other clean or rust free bolt on the okay. chassis or engine. Got a crescent wrench here. I'm going to loosen my battery terminal. I take my ground wire and replace the screw on top and tighten that down. What's next? Okay, step five, take your switch and your foam tape, okay. attach to the box or someplace underneath the hood where you can access it. There we go. Okay, step six. Attach the ETOM box on the hood, safe location. Use screws or the cable ties are supplied in the kit to keep it from moving around. All finished. Okay. Step seven, tidy up the wiring for the injector's oxygen sensor and switch. Keep all the wires away from the throttle linkage or any of the movable parts. Fans or excessive heat and exhaust manifold. Use the supplied cable ties. I think that looks good. Okay, to check for operation, turn the key to the on position, but do not start. Turn the green indicator switch to on. Okay, Bart, the switch is on. That's it. That's every step you've got. The system is now up and running. Great. Thank you, Penny. That worked out just fine. Okay, so you've seen how easy it is to install the ETOM system. Let's go over some frequently asked questions. The most popular question is, how much money will I save with my ETOM unit? Well, that depends on a number of factors. First, what's the price on E85 in your area? Second, what's the price on gasoline in your area? Third, what type of fuel economy do you get with your vehicle? Our website has a calculator that will tell you how much you save and how fast you're making money at the pump. Second biggest question we get, how much is the ETOM unit gonna cost? Prices start at $299 for a four-cylinder, $349 for a six, $399 for a V8, and $449 for a ten-cylinder. Most people get their investment back within 15 to 20,000 miles. Another big question we get is how is this going to affect my vehicle's warranty? Truth is, we don't know. The ETOM unit does not do anything for changing timing, diagnostics, transmission function, or anything else. All it does is recalibrate your gasoline vehicle to run E85. If you're in doubt, check with your dealer. The last question we get 
is what if I have a half a tank of E85 and a half a tank of gasoline? What do I do? Very simply, use your gas gauge as a guide. If you're over half a tank of E85, leave the system on. The ETOM unit's designed to work with mixtures down to 50%. If you're less than that, you've got more gasoline than E85, turn the system off. Your computer and your vehicle automatically compensate.